Hi, I'm Emily Davidson, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about historical string playing, specifically bow technique. The bows that most Baroque instrumentalists have today are very close replicas of what was used in the 17th and 18th centuries. The main modern convention is that we have a screw which tightens and loosens the bow hair. Beyond that, the construction of the bow is quite similar to what they were using in the Baroque era. Cultivating a strong and versatile bow hand is absolutely essential to being a successful Baroque musician. Because we don't use the expressive qualities of vibrato as much as a modern player, we really rely on our bow to be our voice and to shape our musical lines the way we want. By having a bow hand that's capable of being expressive in a number of ways, we can truly convey the music the way we want to. The main difference between a modern and a Baroque bow is the curve of the stick in the relation to the hair. You'll notice that the stick of my bow curves away from the bow hair, where on a modern bow it would curve towards the hair. What that does is it creates a great amount of tension in the center of the bow, which makes for a larger swell in the middle of the stroke. When we go out to the tip of the bow, we see that the tip is very light and curves upward. What this does is it allows the weight of the stroke to be lighter towards the end and towards the tip, therefore making a taper or diminuendo at the end of a basic stroke. In order to see these constructional differences at work, we can start with a basic legato stroke and listen to the swell in the center and the taper at the end. hold, as you'll notice, starts with a pronated hand and the pinky on top of the stick. What this does is it creates a counterbalance from my first finger, which carries a lot of strength and is able to pull the stick. By placing the pinky on top, I get a balance that allows me to have control over the bow not only in the lower half, but also at the tip. My hand will always be fluctuating, but in general, a slightly pronated state is where I want my hand to be. These are bow strokes that you can try with your scales, with arpeggios, and you'll notice them coming up much in your music in both melody lines and bass lines. By practicing them on open strings first, then scales, and then in your music, you'll have the most command over your bow and be more successfully able to shape those lines the way you want. We can start with a basic legato stroke to get the feel for rotating your fingers while you continue the stroke. We want to feel that we can use the, our pinky as we get out to the tip. When you get comfortable with a legato stroke, you can then experiment with lightening your up bows. This is very important in Baroque music as we have a general balance between strong and weak. In musical phrases, we'll have stronger measures and weaker measures, and within a measure, we'll have stronger beats and weaker beats. This is an important balance to maintain when playing Baroque music, and it's something that we have to implement in our bow as well. We generally want a healthy, robust down bow so that our up bow can be lighter and come out of the resonance of the down bow. Here's an example of a stroke you can try in order to get the feeling of a stronger down bow and a weaker up bow. We can build on our legato stroke and implement using our fingers a bit more with this stroke. strokes rather than using a larger arm motion, which would be too much and give the smaller notes too much emphasis. Again, we want this to be elegant and we want the smaller notes to not have more emphasis than the longer ones. to implement 
at shorter strokes as well, which tend to have a bounce off of the string, depending on exactly the articulation you're going for. You'll notice that I'm not affecting the bounce, but I'm just allowing gravity to let my bow have some rebound. By keeping your fingers flexible, you don't stifle this natural bounce. To get a feeling for the bounce in your bow and allowing the rebound with flexible fingers, you can try a short stroke. Now we'll try a shorter stroke, again with the up bow still being weak. of a Baroque string player. That is what's going to create musical expression and emphasize our ideas more clearly. By varying articulation and by using different colors, we're truly expressing the music to the fullest. Having a really strong bow technique is what will make us great Baroque musicians.